Hi everyone, Maria here, and today I have this look for you. Um, it's uh, kind of a lavender eye, and I use the Kat Von D Interstellar palette just for that lavender color, which is right here. Uh, it's quite a beautiful shade. Um, not really crazy about this palette because it's so cool. Uh, the shadows are nice and everything, just really cool. So I pair it with uh, kind of more of a burgundy and a caramel color uh, just to kind of warm it up, but it, I don't know if it really is translating on camera. Uh, but anyway, this is the look that I have for you today. If you're interested, please keep watching and let's get started right now. I'm starting with the clean face today and I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish More Than a Primer Blemish Control. Uh, it's got salicylic acid. It's an acne treatment primer. Um, yeah, I don't have any of those issues, but I got the, I got it as a, I don't know, it came in some bag thing that I got, so. Um, I thought I'd use it today. And I have been using it and it works just fine. It doesn't dry me out or anything weird like that. So I just put the primer all over. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and it's in the color porcelain. And I just do a pump and a little bit. And that'll do my whole, my whole face. <laughs> It'll do my whole head. It will do my whole head. Ah. So I'm using this, it's a re the Revive sponge, because uh, somehow like I went to use my um, beauty blender and I filled it up with water and brought it to where I do my makeup and I can't figure out where I put it. So I'm gonna use this one. The difference between this one, this one's a lot more dense feeling, uh, heavier feeling sponge, but it seems to work the same way. It's the one I used before I ever got a beauty blender. Yeah, using it now, it's way less soft applying the makeup, so still works, but just not near as uh, cushy. This is the sponge I started with. After um, using the Beauty Blender, this is like punching yourself in the face. Like it's so hard, so I'm gonna use my brush for the rest of the time. And it also used up quite a lot of my product. So I've got to use a little bit more foundation to finish myself off. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 and apply this under the eyes. on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose. And this is a little bit of a darker color than I've been using. Uh, I thought I'd give it a try. For whatever reason, number 15 is lighter but more pink. So I thought I'd try this more yellow one, which is the number 10. It's a little bit too dark to be a highlight, but it's what I have. So now I'm going to use my HD Forever Translucent Powder and I'm just going to go over the concealer parts. Uh, my face. So now I'm going to contour using my MAC Omega shadow and um, in case you're wondering the reason why I turned this way is because my normal mirror broke so I've kind of jimmy rigged a situation so I'll be going between this big mirror that I can barely see and this little white mirror here so forgive me if it's a little weird. To warm up the face, I'm going to use my Chocolate Soleil. Now uh, to start with the eyes, I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just apply that as a base, uh, as a primer for my eyes. Now I'm going to just take a neutral shadow, just a light shadow, and going to go over the whole lid, or at least just this top part, to the crease, just because it kind of sets that soft ochre. So to begin this eye look, I'm going to go into this NYX shadow in Blame It On Midnight, and it's kind of just a caramely color, and apply that all over the crease. Just go in windshield wiper motions and do the whole lid, or not the whole lid, the whole crease. Next I'm going to go into one shade darker 
one shade darker. Yeah, one shade darker and it's the NYX shadow in Dance the Tides. So this is the one I started with and this is the second one. So just a little bit more caramely, or it almost is a peanut buttery color. Terracotta maybe? No. I don't know what color it is, but it's called Dance of Tides. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer half of the crease and then blend it kind of onto the lid a little bit. Now I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to apply that on kind of the inner part of the eyelid and up to about three quarters. And then down onto the lid a little bit. Now as you can see this is super messy and looks creepy. <laughs> can you imagine if this was the final look? I'm kind of almost tempted to do something with white and caramel though because I kind of like it. But anyway, then you just take your finger and just kind of blend the color in. Now the reason why we're using this milk color is because it's going to provide a really white base to make this shade here pop. And this color, I don't know if it'll show up on screen, but it's a really light lavender shade. So this is part of the Interstellar Kat Von D palette. And I've had this palette for quite some time and frankly, I, although the shadows are pretty, they're so cool that I'm not really crazy about the palette. I just find it a really cold look. So I might enjoy it more in the winter time because I can, you know, pull in the purples and the silvers. Some of these shades are just beautiful, but overall I tend to do warmer looks on my eyes and enjoy that a little more, especially because it kind of makes the blue pop. Uh, but I really loved the lavender shades in this. And this is a cool shadow uh, because if you put it over black, it makes the black look this like really iridescent -y black. It's really cool what it'll do. So anyway, uh, that's the shadow we're going to use. So I'm going to go in with my little e.l.f. concealer brush uh, that I use as my eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to uh, place this on my lid. Forgive the mirror situation, but. And I'm also going to take this into the inner corner and down on the lower lash. Now I'm going to take Lancome. It's kind of a burgundy color in Backstage Pass. And just to use a small fluffy brush and this is going to go in my crease. I just really love lavenders and burgundies together so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take that burgundy and keep it kind of in the, the deepest part of my eye socket. Now I'm going to take just an angled brush and I'm going to go back into that backstage pass and, it, and run it underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back into that lavender shade and just kind of pack it on the outer part. It's just going to go over the dark burgundy shade just slightly. And then I'm going to take a small fluffy brush and I'm going to go back into this Blame It On Midnight shade. And I'm going to take that underneath everything on the bottom lash just to warm it up. So this is what I have so far for the eyeshadow. So quite lavendery with the burgundy, although the burgundy I think is pulling purple on camera, but it's more of a burgundy shade with that caramel on top. So I'm going to tight line and do my lower water line, uh, put mascara on and put the falsies on. I'm gonna do the mascara and the falsies off camera. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do the, the liner off camera as well, just because um, because I don't have a proper mirror, it's going to be really difficult to do that. So I'll see you once I get my eyes completely on. So I've got my mascara on, my eyeliner, my false lashes, and for whatever reason to date, my false lashes did not go on easy and it was a bit of a disaster. I think I was too impatient and put them on before the glue was tacky enough, but anyway. Uh, they're not quite like I wanted them, but hey, such is life. And I used Ardell, uh, the Demi Wispies in black. 
uh, this time because my I'm out of my um, kiss me lashes which are my absolute favorite so now I am going to do my eyebrows And then I'm just going to take a spoolie and run it through the brow. And to do my brows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and Dark Brown. Now to finish off the eye look, I'm just going to go into this white shade right here. It's called Gravitron. And I'm just going to take this color underneath the eyebrow. I'm kind of into this part, whatever this is called. Okay, so this is what I have so far. This is what the eye look looks like. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this, which I rarely use this. I bought it, it's a Tarte Cheek Stain, and they're beautiful colors. So that's what it looks like. They smell delicious. And of course Tarte, like the products are, are good for you, like they're decent, like they're wonderful products. But what I don't like about this cheek stain, I love the color of it, uh, but it stays tacky on the cheeks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it to begin with. And the reason why is because it gives kind of this beautiful glow. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of blush over top to just kind of set it so that it'll stay all day. And also, like you can take this and just uh, put it on your fingers and apply it that way, or you can go like that, but you get a big, mark uh, I'm gonna use my L small stippling brush and I'm going to just stipple it on so basically I'm taking the product I'm swirling the brush into it so I get it on the brush and then I'm going to just gently tap until I get the amount of product that I want so I've got that on see how it glows it's just this beautiful glow but it's sticky it's sticky and I do not like sticky on my cheeks so now I'm going to go into the Tarte uh, blush palette that I have and I'm going to pick up this pink color and I'm just gonna lightly sweep that just kind of tap it over top of that color just to kind of set it now the other thing that you can do if you're concerned about it is you can use uh, go back in with your translucent and I like doing that to just tone down the shade and go over top of it as well people I've had more gongs in this gong show than I have in a long long time so now to uh, just kind of highlight my face, the, my nose, Cupid's bow, all of that, I'm going to use MAC Shroom, which is the other side to my little contour kit, which I rarely use. So um, it's actually an eyeshadow, uh, but it works really nicely as a highlight as well. Now I'm gonna take my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spritz my whole face. So today my lip combo is going to be mainly MAC Burgundy Lip Liner all over the lip. I'm gonna finish it off with the stone just to darken up the edges and then I'm gonna go in with this Tarte uh, lip tint in Classy. Okay, this is the final look. What I'm gonna do is take my hair out of these crazy things and then be right back. So this is the final look. Those are the eyes. So it's quite a bright look, like you've got the purple and then the kind of burgundy cherry lip and bright cheeks. Um, but I think it's a nice look. 
What do you think? Are you happy with it? You want to give it a try? It's pretty easy to do. You just need a lavender shade, a burgundy shade. Really, you need only one warm brown. So you could do it with three shades, uh, plus, of course, your primer and all that. Uh, but that's what I have for you today. So I uh, hope you like it. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me if you've tried any of those products. Uh, for the most part, I love all of them. I'm iffy on this. Like, honestly, I wished I wouldn't have purchased this uh, just because it uh, so easily comes off. But I find that if you set it with the, a blush, it's nice. But really, why? <sighs> you know, I sometimes wish I could just shove things right up my nose and then just sniff it all day. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I like this product. Uh, but I don't think it's overly practical and I really don't like the tacky feeling on my cheeks and I find that that doesn't go away. Um, it's great though for giving yourself a natural flush and if you're not a major makeup wearer, uh, being able to put just a little bit of this, they've got all sorts of different shades uh, to just put it on your cheeks. Even if you don't have any other makeup on, uh, you could just put a little bit to give yourself a natural kind of glow uh, and it would work really well and then you could just set it with a translucent powder. Uh, so that would be an option as well and uh, like you know it's kind of glowy kind of looks hopefully lit within hopefully but maybe not anyway uh, this is all that I have for you for today have a great week and we'll talk to you soon